Welcome back. In this video, we're going to increase the processing power of the R610 server we've been working on by installing a pair of these. Next on Low Res DIY. All right, the first thing we need to do to get these processors swapped out is to remove the heat sink. And uh, they're really easy on these things. It's just a matter of pushing down on these two blue buttons and then pushing them out and it will release the pressure that's uh, on them. Flip the levers up. And that thermal paste is sticking a little bit. There we go. And pop them off. And there is the thermal paste. We're just going to use a paper towel and wipe that off. Get the bulk of it off right now and then we'll do the same to the processor okay now that we have the majority of it off all we need to do is push down on this little tab right here, slide it out, and that releases the pressure on it. We'll lift it up, and we can take the processor out. And we'll set this one off to the side for now. We'll take our new processor, and we need to find the little triangle is marked on one of the corners in this case it's right here we need to look on normally on on uh i guess your consumer grade computers the little triangle would be marked on the actual cover but in this case it's on the motherboard right here so i need to turn the chip to where Little triangles pointing at the little triangle. We want to gently set it down in the socket. Once it's in, all we need to do is close the lid and reapply pressure. Lock it in place. Okay, so I want to clean this heat sink up a little bit more before we, we go ahead and put the new thermal paste on. And all I'm going to do is use some uh, isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel. And just wipe it on and clean it up. All right, set it off this side and let it dry. Then we'll take our thermal paste. I'm just using this uh, MX4 thermal paste by Arctic. And I'm gonna put a little line on this one side. I have this little spatula that I'm not sure where, I got it with some thermal paste years ago and I normally just use it to spread it out a little bit and you normally don't need to do this you just put a, a dot in the middle of the processor and most motherboards or sockets have a screw type system and it, it's you can screw screw the heat sink down and put some more pressure on it which spreads the thermal paste quite a bit but I've noticed when I changed the thermal paste on the old processors that it didn't spread very well. I don't know if these little latches don't put enough pressure on it to really spread it out or what. So I just want to make sure I get the processor covered. All right, that should be good enough. You take your heat sink place it back on a little wobble you push down on the clips 
and there we go and that's all there is to it so i'll do the other one uh here in a second and plug everything back in and boot into windows okay the system booted up just fine there were no no issues or anything i got logged into it and ran this cinebench test and you can see right here this these are the chips we ended up replacing the x5570s with their E5649s and we scored an 1151 compared to a 942. So you're looking at 1.25 1.25 times better performance and you know we can let's compare that to the the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 which is it's a relatively new newer processor it's maybe 2 years old something like that. And it got a 1226. And that happens to be what uh, is in the system that I'm using to record this. So they're actually pretty even. Uh, price for these guys, if you look on eBay right now, you can get a pair of these guys for $13.50. They're, they're really inexpensive. And that's one of the big reasons I well bought the whole system. Every Everything... For these these systems is pretty pretty reasonably priced right now. Um, one of the other reasons for getting these guys is right here. We're we're a generation younger than the chips we we replaced, which gave it little improvements here and there. But the the biggest thing besides the price is this right here: six cores versus four, twelve th threads versus eight. So that uh, just took me from 16 threads to 24 threads. And the ultimate use for this system, after I get done playing around with it, is, is uh, virtualization. It's probably going to have Proxmox put on it. And I'll spin up a bunch of different uh, virtual machines and things like that. So that just gave me more resources to, to utilize for that. So until next time. Uh, hit that subscribe button, like it if you like it, and thanks for watching.